हेलो रोशन हाय अखिलेश दीपक हाय मैम यस मैम हाय गुड हाउ आर यू मैम गुड हाउ अबाउट यू ऑल कमल ओके सो लेट्स डिस्कस ऑन द वेरियस हर्बल इंग्रेडिएंट्स यूज्ड इन हेयर केयर chemistry and formulation of paraffin and diamine based hair colorants labeling of hair dyes containing dye colors and pigments so uh, we will discuss about herbal cosmetics use for hair type of hair care products herbs described in ayurveda for hair care labeling of hair dyes containing hair dye colors and pigments so the word cosmetic is derived from the greek word cosman tikos which means for having the power to arrange skill in decorating so the origin of cosmetic forms a continuous narrative throughout the history of man and from prehistoric times that is around 3000 bc we see that man used to use uh, decoration to attract animals Uh, he wished to hunt, and also he to survive the attack from the enemy. He used to color the skin, add on his body for protection to provoke fear in enemies. Okay, so you, uh, herbal cosmetics are formulated using permissible cosmetic ingredients uh, that form the base, and in that there are one or more herbal ingredients which are used to provide defined cosmetic. benefits the skin and hair beauty of individuals depend on the health habit routine job climatic conditions and maintenance so you see that herbs are a wonderful gift of nature compatible with both human uh, skin and hair okay they are powerful aids in treating almost any skin and hair problem hmm? and herbs are friendly to the human body so they are safe extremely effective and almost have no negative side effects unlike chemical based products so the face of an individual is a personal identity in which hair plays a significant role right so good hair is a an attribute of personal beauty now the slide is moving right yes yes ma'am Yes, I'm moving, moving. Every strand of hair should be long, black, soft, shiny. Okay. So, in order to know how to keep the hair healthy, you should have a knowledge of the factors which are responsible for hair growth, fall, and other hair problems. So, hair reflects the inside story of a person as well as his or her state of health. So, uh, owing to the growing importance of hair care. a new branch in cosmetology called trichology has developed so it is a branch of hair care it is derived from the word trichos which means hair okay so trichology deals with the science and study of hair or more specifically the science of physical emotional and environmental causes of hair and scalp maladies so there are various herbal hair products like herbal hair oils shampoos conditioners based on the indian ayurvedic system of medicine which are thousands of years old so they are a result of ancient knowledge uh, that our ancestors had on plants and modern also it combines with the modern scientific knowledge based on herbs so herbal hair products came claim to be completely natural and pure with absolutely no chemicals no artificial chemicals are there in the herbal hair care products and uh, also there are preservatives and uh, it does not have artificial preservatives or uh, art fragrances so these this is what the herbal hair product hair care products claim they claim to be completely natural and pure without artificial uh, components like chemi chemicals preservatives fragrances etc so basically it is made of 100% pure dried powders of herbs uh, herb which are mixed with essential oils so the powders dried powders of the herbs are mixed with essential oils 
so there are different types of herbal hair care products like hair oils hair lotions shampoos and they may be uh, shikakai hair wash products anti dandruff product hair wash products multi purpose conditioners hair tonics coconut oil all these are some of examples of the hair, herbal hair care products so you and ideally a hair care product should protect the cuticle of the hair it should cleanse the hair without stripping it of the natural oils it should be able to replace lost protein moisture and nutrients and condition the hair without weighing down the hair even out porosity prevent any loss of moisture it should also uh, smoothen the cuticles and prevent intense drying from the environment so the hair should not be dry such hair care product should be able to maintain the prevent the hair from excessive drying so hair oils are used for dressing and nourishing the hair to give a graceful look to the hair so usually it is hair oils are used for increasing the growth of hair and also to keep it healthy hair oil should have some properties such as it should give a luster to the hair shine to the hair it should retain the hair soft and flowing help in hair growth okay these are some of the things that a hair oil need to do it should give keep the hair soft flowing give a shiny appearance and help in the growth of hair <coughs> it should also prevent uh, grayness keep the head cool and not be sticky and it should possess mild perfumes if required okay some of the oils which are used for hair nourishment include castor oil coconut oil sesame oil bella oil chamele oil henna oil okay these are some of the that oils which are used for hair oil in hair oil products so this is a typical formula of a hair oil product containing herbs it contains five parts of refined coconut oil two parts of peru balsam it contains sandalwood oil 15 parts alkanet root 15 parts henna extract 5 parts oil of rosemary 10 parts okay and hair lotions have a stimulating effect on the hair follicles there are also hair lotions which have a stimulating effect on the hair follicles we learned about the structure of the hair the part below the hair root the under the skin is the hair follicle so these hair lotions are uh, what are they they are generally perfumed with oil of rosemary and other fragrances to give a stimulating effect this is a formula of a typical hair lotion uh, it contains cantharides lotion tincture cantharides one part aqua samburi 11 parts essence rosemary five parts this is a typical formula of a hair lotion also we are familiar with hair shampoos we have made uh, formulated a shampoo in our lab okay where we so basically shampoos are surfactants uh, which are used to remove the surface grease dirt skin debris of the hair shaft and um, affecting the ha hair or health of the hair so a hair a typical shampoo formula consists of 1000 parts of coconut oil 300 parts of potassium hydroxide uh, distilled water potassium carbonate so you see sodium salts of fatty acids or sodium or potassium salts of the fatty acids from the soap so this kind of uh, uh, shampoo can be is basically a surfactant in nature so a herbal shampoo consists of uh, 30 g of any 4 to 5 dried herbs or powders and it consists of 300 ml of purified water 60 ml of liquid glycerin soap 5 ml of any base oil 5 ml of any essential oils so how do we make this kind of a herbal shampoo we prepare a decoction of herbs in purified water 
mix liquid glycerin soap, essential oil and shake it well. And you can refrigerate the shampoo between usage for up to a week. So this is a natural shampoo which we are preparing. You are making a decoction of the herbs, adding glycerin, liquid glycerin soap for moisturizing and uh, soap. Um, and then you add the essential oils and shake it well. We can also make a herbal, natural herbal shampoo of Rita, Shikakai, Aloe Clay, Naganmota, Amla. All these can be soaked in water overnight. Made, make it into a paste and you can use this paste to wash the hair. This is another example of a, a herbal shampoo. So you, uh, another regular shampoo can be a mixture of Shikakai, Rita and Amla. Amla is gooseberry. So you can uh, use these in equal ratios uh, to give a good appearance to the hair. Similarly, we can make protein shampoos out of, out of the white part of the egg. And for hair fall preventive shampoo, you can use paste of the flower of sesame and gokuru, cow's milk. Uh, you can apply it continuous, uh, for seven continuous days to prevent the hair loss and encourage the growth of hair. So nature has an abundance of goodness stored in products like Shikakai and uh, Rita. These act as cleansing agents. Another important uh, herbal ingredient used is henna or mehendi. This is a good conditioner. So soaps do not clean the hair effectively since they live behind fine granular deposits okay so ph of our hair is also neutral so uh, soaps have, have a higher ph so it is uh, it makes it alkaline so we need uh, good uh, products which will keep the hair healthy while ma uh, maintain the ph and keep the hair healthy so another way to improve the hair color is Mehendi in tea water overnight. You might be familiar with this situation. Uh, and boiling it till it becomes a paste. This can be used for improving the color of the hair. It can be applied on the hair, wait till it dries up, and then wash it with water. Do it once a week. This will improve the hair color and shine. So also you can use a decoction of calendula, chamomile for enhancing gold hair or a decoction of rosemary sage and black tea can be this particular formula can be used for improving the darkness of hair if you add sandalwood decoction it makes it gives reddish brown tones to the hair saffron can give copper tones to the hair so these are some of the preparations that are uh, used to uh, tone the color of the hair. You can uh, use rosemary, sage and black tea for dark hair, sandalwood for reddish brown tones and saffron for copper tones. Okay, so Shikakai hair wash uh, can be made. You, this is a formula for a hair wash uh, product. You can use Shikakai powder, dry amla, lemon peel, lime peel, green gram, dry curry leaves, fenugreek seeds. So these are all herbal ingredients you can see and you can uh, mix a powder of these herbs in equal amount using uh, requisite amount of water. Okay. Uh, and you use it in the hair wash, as a hair wash preparation. You can also add a handy dandruff property to the hair wash by using a, a a mix of these particular herbs, shikakai, mandi, rita, daru, hariora, and rind or peel of lemon and orange, nimba, tree bark, chandan, chandavala, and all these things can uh, give, give be used in an and to make an anti dandruff hair wash. So, here also we make a powder of the above herbs, equal amount. Soak 75 to 100 gram powder in the night. In the morning, boil the mixture till it forms a paste. Wet the hair, apply it over the scalp for 10 to 15 minutes and clean the scalp thoroughly. So multi-purpose conditioner, uh, you can use uh, conditioners for maintaining healthy normal hair. 
Mm -hmm. Aloe vera has good moisturizing properties. It has, in fact, it has tremendous moisturizing properties. White lemon juice also is good for purifying and uh, not white. While lemon juice has good purifying and cleansing properties. Okay. So aloe vera has moisturizing properties. Lemon juice has purifying and cleansing properties. So you can also use uh, such a lavender and rosemary for relaxation, mint for a stimulating effect. So this is a typical formula of a, a multi-purpose conditioner, aloe vera gel, lemon juice and adding essential oil. So you can mix the aloe vera gel with lemon juice and apply on the frequently shampooed hair. You can leave it for five minutes three to five minutes and rinse the hair thoroughly with water. Another is form, this is a formula for Keshraj hair oil, where you are using uh, herbs like Bringraj, Mehendi, Amla, Pachaka, Kambuji, and Kachura. All these are mixed in four liter of sesame oil or uh, coconut oil. You can uh, mix these things in the oil and uh, boil it hmm, till the uh, mixture evaporates. Thoroughly mix the ingredients, remaining ingredients in oil and keep it over a jet. Okay? Uh, and then you can strain the oil, store it in airtight bottle. So you keep it for two days, strain the oil store it in airtight bottle. It can be used for hair growth, prevents hair fall and allergy. So this is the uh, formula for uh, promoting hair growth, preventing the fall of hair and uh, also protecting from allergy. Another popular hair tonic consists of amla, anathanula and uh, henna or mehendi. And also these uh, tulsi leaves, jadaman, siva, sakas, pyrulina, all these ingredients can be mixed together and heated with oil on a low flame till all the herbs are thoroughly incorporated. You can mix, uh, remove the, uh, you can strain it and use the oil. Keep it in, stored in airtight containers. So spirulina is the blue-green algae, which is uh, rich in protein. So this is also used in hair preparations. So there are many herbs that are described in Ayurveda for hair preparation. So basically for beautiful hair, it should be healthy and it needs the right nourishment. And many of the herbs enhance the beauty and has amazing curative properties. One of the main herbs that is uh, that has been the Queen Cleopatra's secret beauty ingredient is aloe vera. It has a high retention of moisture. It is deep. It has a. It is a deep penetrating conditioner that enters the hair by capillary action and nourishes the hair tip. So what does aloe vera does is it smoothens the hair cuticle, makes the hair stronger balances the surface acidity and alkalinity of the hair. It reduces the tangling of the hair and produces a shiny or glossy sheen by making the hair surface reflect more light. So these are some of the properties of aloe vera. It smoothens the hair cuticle, makes the hair stronger, balances the pH of the hair and uh, gives a glossy or shiny look to the hair. Another important ingredient is henna. So application of henna adds beauty uh, bounds to the hair, making it supple, shiny and manageable. You are all familiar with henna or mehendi. So what it does is it is of the hair and it conditions and thickens the Hair. So it has properties on darkening the hair, toning the hair, conditioning the hair. Similarly, amla or gooseberry is another ingredient that prevents premature graying of the hair and it controls the dandruff. It also has excellent darkening properties. Okay.
Another important ingredient used in hair care is the hibiscus or shoe flower. It is a natural foaming agent. What it does, it removes the dirt from the hair, keeps the scalp cool, and besides conditioning and making the hair black and glossy, it also promotes hair growth. Okay. So that is what shoe flower does. It removes the dirt, conditions the hair, keeps the hair black and glossy. Another is soap nut or rita. So it has foaming qualities. So it, it cleanses the hair and keeps the hair soft. Tulsi has antibacterial or natural stimulant which removes dandruff, tulsi or basil leaves. So it's also used in hair care products to remove dandruff and it has antibacterial properties. Chikaka is one of the old time tested natural cleansing agent which removes the dirt and excess oil while retaining the scalp's natural oil content. Yes. So other herbs which are used in herbal preparation include fenugreek seeds or mentha seeds, the lime juice. So these are some of the many other herbs are used along with aloe vera, shikakai, tulsi, rita, hibiscus, amla, henna, aloe vera. So they are all used for different purposes and adds to the health of the hair. Next, we'll discuss about hair colorants. So why do we use hair colorants for coloring the hair? And, uh, and uh, also gray hair can be colored. So it can be applied. These kind of hair colorants can be applied on the hair with the help of a brush. A, a common formula of a hair colorant is seven parts of potash, 31 parts of ammonia, 15 parts of glycerin, 12 parts of alcohol and 550 parts of rose water. Okay. Now, uh, Let's discuss something about the chemistry and formulation of paraffin diamine based hair colorants. So it is an organic compound. Paraffin diamine is an organic compound uh, derivative of aniline. It's used, it's a very important ingredient in the hair care, uh, hair coloring uh, colorants. So what it is generally white in color, but it darkens due to oxidation in air and it's used uh, as an ingredient in hair, hair dyes basically it may also be used as a substituent for henna okay so if you see the structure it has two amino groups and it has a benzene ring you can see the ring structure and the two amino groups and it is um, white crystalline in nature it darkens on exposure to air. So it shows solubility properties according to the temperature of water used. Okay. So if you see uh, what happens is uh, at 40 degree 10% solubility is seen for this paraffin uh, diamine. At 107 degree you can see solubility increases to 87%. At 140 degree the solubility increases to 100%. So the solubility of this compound varies with temperature increases as the temperature increases. So this is a formulation for this kind of hair dye powder containing paraffin uh, diamine. It consists of paraphenylene diamine sulfate, paraminophenol, m phenylene diamine sulfate, 4 chlororesorcinol, tetrasodium EDTA, Erythorbic acid, carrageenan, and sandal gum, monohydrate, sodium perborate, as well as sodium chloride. In, and the proportions are given here. So all these powders have to be combined and mixed, and uh, you can you get a foaming gel, uh, which is used for coloring the hair. So no ammonia is there in this product. You know, ammonia-based products are harmful to the hair. So this product is without ammonia. So how do you use it? You mix one part of the powder with 10 parts of water at 
room temperature. Labeling of hair dyes containing uh, dye colors and pigments is very important. Yes. So the inner and outer label should have certain uh, cautions mentioned on it. It should be mentioned in English as well as local language. So hair dyes which contain paraffin, I mean uh, paraffin, diamine or other dye and pigments, okay, dye colors and pigments should have this particular precaution, okay. The product contains ingredients which cause skin irritation in certain cases. So a preliminary test uh, should be first done. And you cannot use this product for dyeing eyelashes, eyebrows, because this may lead to blindness. All these things have to be mentioned on the label, okay, of the, uh, this hair dye product. So the preparation may cause serious inflammation in some cases. So a preliminary test should be done. Uh, to determine whether sensitivity exists or not. So how are you going to do this sensitivity test? You have to do a preliminary sensitivity test to see that the uh, preparation does not, uh, uh, is not harmful to the skin or to the, uh, it, the skin is not sensitive to this preparation. What you do is cleanse a small area of the skin. Uh, you upon and then you use soap, water, or oil. On the inner surface of the forearm, you can do this test. You can apply a small quantity of hair dye that has been prepared. Okay. And uh, apply it, allow it to dry. And after an hour, wash the area gently with water. So, this area of the skin is very sensitive. So, you can first try a little. Uh, quantity of the hair dye and uh, see if there is any kind of sensitivity. What sensitivity? There should not be any irritation or inflammation. Okay. Um, it may be as if there is no irritation or inflammation, it may be assumed that no hypersensitivity to the dye exists. Okay. So you have to carry out this test before each and every application the prep and in no conditions this hair dye preparation should be used for dyeing eyebrows or eyelashes it can lead to severe inflammation of the eyes and it may also lead to blindness so this uh, things have to be labeled these things have to be labeled on the hair care preparation or hair dye preparations containing the dyes and pigments so let's go through the slides. You can ask me. Any. So we discussed about herbal ingredients which are used in hair care and chemistry and formulation of parafilin diamine based hair colorants. They do not contain ammonia and they are also uh, we learned about how to label what should be there on the label of the hair dyes containing the dye colors and pigments. Okay. So let me ask you some, what is, what is a cosmetic? It is basically used to, hmm, improve the appearance, right? Cosmeceutical yes, has a medicinal value as well, right? And yes, so what are the uh, advantages of herbal cosmetics? Hmm? It can be used... Yes, it, is it is claimed that it is 100% natural and it has no side effects. Yes, it is 100% natural. So it is safe, extremely effective and has no negative effects or adverse effects on the skin or hair like the... Uh, chemical based products available in the market. What is trichology? Study of hair. Study of okay. hair. Now the signs of physical, emotional and environmental changes that uh, which you know, the affects the hair and scalp malady. So what are the various herbal products? 
shampoo lotion yes coloring what are some of the ingredients in the herbal preparation aloe vera neem sika ka hai mera amla amla वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट What about hibiscus? It cleans the means removes the dirt, keeps the scalp cool. Also, it is conditioning. Yes, nature keeping the hair black and the hair growth. What is the use of the soap nut? Forming as in man. The good forming. Broth. Broth. Kakai. Remove the excess oil from the. Yeah, oil and dirt is removed. So, how do you usually make this kind of hair oils? You add it in. Oil, right? Boil it with the oil. All these ingredients, and you use it. So, what about paraffin dye? What is the property of this dye or hair colorant? White in color. Can? Can darken when it is exposed to air. Yeah, when it is exposed to air, it darkens. so it is like ammonia free hair dye mm -hmm. uh hair dye preparation get a foaming gel when you mix it with water and you can apply it with the help of a brush what should what is the indication that should be there on the label for external use only Correct. Should not be used in the eyelashes or eyebrows. Yeah, you cannot yes. use this for the eyelash or eyelashes. Those eyebrows. Then you can do a sensitivity test. Yes, how do you do that? Applying the small. You can apply a small part to the area of the. skin yeah and the uh, and the inner surface of the forearm and then you check if there is any irritation irritation or sensitivity inflammation yes and uh, if there is no sensitivity use this kind air dye preparation Okay, so about the hair care products, make an assignment with these topics. Explain it in more a little more detail. We have just discussed briefly on these things. Uh, you can make an assignment for each of these topics. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Refer the textbook. What are the other points you can include, especially the evaluation part? We have just the use and formulation. I uh, can also discuss the uh, evaluation part of this. Okay. Yes, 
Yes, ma'am. Any more questions? No, ma'am. Okay, so let's wind up the class. Uh, thank you. Bye bye. Yes. <laughs> bye. Take another class mm -hmm. tomorrow, okay? Yes, ma'am. Good time. Ma'am, this time only we'll take, ma'am. This time only? Okay. This time is good, ma'am. Convenient for you. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. So come again this time. See you. Okay, yes, Make the assignment ready. Tomorrow again, I'll ask questions. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Three yes, topics that we have covered and the previous topics also. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Thank you, ma'am.